and this is the cold start. So we are up at the Uber app. I was being weird. It said the guy was outside. There's a bunny in there. Oh, wow. Cute little thing. Oh, scared. Let's see if you guys would be able to see it. Nope. The bush is too thick. Let's see. Oh, there he is. You guys can see him. You can see his eye right there. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go catch a flight, going to Virginia. Hope everything goes well with this car. We're just gonna put out a positive uh, outcome that it's gonna be good. Um, it's gonna run and drive fine. And that's it. Because it will be very annoying and expensive. Uh, flight back home uh, so we want to drive the car back so yeah um i'll get back to you guys uh sometime later So I'll get back to you guys in a couple minutes when we're at the car. This is uh, the Washington Duels Airport, whatever. But uh, yeah, everything's going to go well. The car is going to be exactly as I expect. It's going to work. And we are going to uh, get it, drive it around, enjoy it, then head home. That's exactly what's going to happen. The drive is going to be uneventful in a good way. And yeah. Dot, dot, dot. And here we go. X5M right here. Alright, so I probably shouldn't have done this, but I'm an idiot and uh, I make bad decisions. But runs and drives. It has a Christmas tree. Um, needs wheel sensors and a couple things like that. Um, yeah, well, the price was cheap, so, and I do, um, believe that if I put, like, three grand into this, I'll be, I'll make out well, I, I really do hope that's the case, even four or five grand, I'll make out well, I need a hood latch sensor, and a couple other sensors, and we should be good, but, uh, yeah, I'm willing to, to have somebody check this thing out and then let me know exactly what I need but um yeah here we go again so yeah we did a thing we bought an E70 X5M with a bit of a catch because you can see that there and that there, oh, it was a little bunny. And that there. But, you know, overall, it's not too bad. It kind of is, but isn't. So, cosmetically, it's not too horrible. Paint looks decent. It does need, like, a buff and whatnot. But, yeah. It also rides rough and has a couple issues. It needs, like, some computer coding stuff um, it does have catless downpipes it does have um, what do you call it XHP trans flash it showed as the guy said um, black on black extended leather heated and cooled massage seats um, yeah, it's a pretty good spec um, as you guys know, I already do have parts, pardon all my stuff, I, oh crap, I knew I forgot something yesterday, I bought, um, veggie burgers, cheese, and whatnot, and I forgot them in the hot car, that's not good, because that's very expensive, but I have the, uh, carbon arcade intakes that I'll install tomorrow, 
because the filters will be in tomorrow. Um, right now, we are about to check the uh, XHP as well as see if this. Or is it? Hold on. See if this uh, vented oil cap will work. But yeah, um, got to test and see if this thing is going to be able to connect to the car so it can do the uh, XHP stuff. Um, yeah, so let's hope it is so we can do that. And then after this, we will be... Um, loading the 21 inch alpina wheels in here going to the car wash washing both and then um yeah that's pretty much it for this video may make two videos out of that or something i have no idea how i'm gonna do it but you guys will see it when you see it so yeah we have a x5m and i hope it uh isn't too much of a basket case to fix but uh get back to you guys in a little while yeah, this is the cold start. So you guys can hear that it's a bit more aggressive. XHP stuff and I'll get back to you guys in a little while and as you can see it also has a, uh, a lot of a lot of little issues like that has to get replaced I'm trying to get one today but I also may um, take this all apart and clean it and see if I can fix it that way so yeah not as like stay was the thing I may have to change like the uh the gasket thing just to see but uh yeah let's uh try it and see give me a second so it's installed and they're gonna check and see if the bonnet closes yes it does Everything is sealed. Let's see. Yep. So we gotta open the bonnet again and then turn the car on and see how it sounds. And then we're also gonna do a couple more little things just to see. Oh, let me open the bonnet first before we turn it on. Good. So the diverter valves are open, so I'm actually going to see what closing them does and see if the car drives any different. I'll let you guys know. Alright, so you guys can see or will see.
the uh, turbo diverter valves are capped off, or were capped off. We had like literally some hats. We're gonna put them back on the turbos. I mean, yeah, put them back on the inlet thing. Literally, the guy just put, lift, this is like the bottom of like a walking stick, and then this, I have no idea, but, yeah. And granted, that just vents the turbo, the turbo is in the atmosphere, but we're just going to see. So, a second. like this for now. I'm going to tighten this a bit more. Actually, that should be good as it is for now. Um, yeah. So we're going to drive the car like that and see how it feels. Um, we'll leave this plastic cap 